Oh no! That was one attempt after I started recording. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy I beat that. That was really annoying. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. <clears throat> what is wrong with my, my, my voice? Wow. All right. That was an interesting experience. Very interesting experience. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about Chroma by Ren241. Approaching this level, I really liked it. However, it was a really annoying experience from zero. The pre-drop was consistent sometimes, but a lot of the times I just died a lot to the, to the ship section with all the orbs, especially the last pink dash orb and the straight fly, I died to that a lot. I think that was just a skill issue, but it got really annoying and just in my personal opinion, I didn't really like the gameplay. That's just my personal experience. The wave was really fun to do runs on and practice. However, from zero, every time I got to the drop, it was always, where am I gonna die now? You could die pretty much anywhere in the wave, which is good though, because it means that it's pretty balanced. I think this level is really balanced overall. However, I just I just found my experience annoying. I'm pretty sure that's just a skill issue because this level does not really fit my current skill set. So I'm glad I did this level to improve certain parts of my skill where I needed to improve on. However, I don't think I had the best experience with this, which makes me sad because I approached the level really liking this. And don't get me wrong, the decoration of this level is phenomenal. I think visually this level is super good. Ren241 has amazing decoration. I think my favorite decoration in the level was in the ball part. The flickering and the stars just made such like an atmosphere. I really liked it. And the effects in the ship part with all the orbs was really good too. I did really like the last cube section. I think that was the best gameplay that I never really had any annoyance with. Even though I died there three times, I was like, all right, that was a fair death because it was you know, there were some hard times in that part. Overall, I had a meh experience with this level. I would definitely recommend this though to anyone because it is a level that improves certain skill sets that aren't usually in a lot of levels just because the gameplay is really unique. It's straightforward gameplay, but it's more unique. Ren241 definitely has a style of gameplay, I'd say. That level took me 1,551 attempts. I think this is definitely harder than Lit Fuse, in my opinion. This is definitely solid, insane demon difficulty. I did this because of the GDDP, of course, and um, yeah, I'm just happy to have it done. I don't have much else to say about this level, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.